All right, so welcome to Final Cut Pro. And so today we're going to be going over how to make a slideshow in Final Cut Pro. If you didn't watch the first video where I made the slideshow in iMovie, you can go back and watch that. Um, I'm not going to go back over or add the sizing options to Final Cut Pro. If you don't know how to size in either Photoshop or Lightroom, I will just leave a link and you can refer back to the beginning of that video. So the first thing that we need to do in Final Cut Pro is go to the preferences. And this is where you want to make sure that your times are set up right. So we're under editing and notice all still images are automatically going to be um, sent to the timeline with four seconds and a one second transition. So if you want to change that to whatever number, feel free. The next thing you're going to want to do is go up to File, New, and Event. And so we will call this Slideshow Final Cut Pro X. All right. Um, we are doing 1080, 1920 by 1080, 29.97 frames a second, Apple Pro Res, 48 kilohertz. We're going to go back up to New and hit Project. So the event is kind of this information over here where you're going to be putting your clips. The project is going to be put inside um, the event. So here I selected the event slideshow Final Cut Pro and I will call this basically I call it the same thing Final Cut Final Cut Pro X. Everything else is the same. And you can see then it renames that so the first thing we're going to do is come in here to titles. Um, so one good benefit over this than iMovie is you can get much more dynamic titles. Um, it has all of your basic ones and then you can come over here. It has, you know, these are ones that I've downloaded and gotten, but you can get animated titles that are already set up and they're easy to edit. So we will just come in here and click on titles and I'm looking just for that basic one. So I'm going to type basic and there's our basic title and I will just drag it down here. So unlike uh, in iMovie, you don't need, it automatically sets up a black background um, for the, uh, the title. So you don't need to do that. You just need to drag it down into your timeline and you're good to go. So if I want to change the title, um, I can select it here in this window. If you do not have this window set up, I'm pretty sure it's command four. Yes, Command 4 or Control 4, probably on a PC. And it, you have kind of like the title, but you also are going to have this little kind of centered paragraph looking thing. So this is your text inspector. So you can come in here to change the uh, text that you want to display. So slideshow. You can also come in here and select this and type in here as well. Final Cut. Pro X. So once you've done that, you can select here. It will select everywhere. We can come in here and change a font if we want to change our font size. Um, you can actually control a lot. So if we want to make it bigger, we can control it, make it bigger. Um, here's your X, Y, and Z uh, axes to move it around. You can also come in here. Notice when I hover over that little uh, anchor point, I can move this around to wherever. You can also animate this yourself and make it slide in and slide out, but we're not going to go over that in this video. So we have our title and that's ready to go. So now we want to import our images. So we're going to click over here on this little icon and then we're going to slide down and look for final slideshow Final Cut Pro X. And you can see there's nothing in here. So we're just going to hit Command I, which is import and then we're going to find where our images are at. So that's pretty easy. We're just going to go to the desktop. So slideshow, and then here's that slideshow size that we had before. And I will just command one and then command A to select all and then hit import all. So over here is your kind of like how you're importing this. So it's copying it to library. Um, so files, do you want to copy that to library or do you want to leave the files in place? So like if I want to leave them in place and not copy them over, 
I can just select that. That way you're not duplicating the same files twice. You're just grabbing them from the location that they're at. So some keywords, audio roles, um, transcoding, create optimized media, create proxy media. If you want to know what that means, you should uh, just watch a separate video on Final Cut Pro. I'm just trying to keep this simple in trying to uh, make a basic slideshow. So there's other stuff you could do, but we're not going to worry about that at this point. So we're just going to come down here and hit import all. And instantly they are located over here. So you can see if I just grab a window, it's automatically going to be set up to four seconds like we set it before. Um, so if I click on this, you can see right here it's four seconds and what our total clip time is going to be. So I can just keep coming over here and dragging my files. Um, Final Cut Pro is great because it automatically snaps over there. So we'll just drag these down in the order that we want. So I selected multiple clips that time and I will drag them over. So you, what you will notice is when I did that selection of multiple clips, it made all my clips larger. So I'm gonna hit Command Z. So if I go back up, I think we're right here. And if I just manually click, so what I'm doing is holding down Command and selecting it, it's automatically giving me that four second clip time and then if I drag down, it's keeping that four second. So when I selected, it was selecting the whole clip. Um, but now, since I clicked on it individually, it's giving me the four second clip time. So right now, if we come down here in the timeline and I hit the space bar, it will play. And you can see it will automatically um, just go ahead and go to each clip. There are no transitions at this point. So what we'll do is come up here and try to find. So here's our first image, which the ratio was not done um, correctly. And, and that's perfectly fine. There's nothing wrong with that. If you want to change that, you want to select your image. And they come up here and click this little film icon. And we can scale that or make it bigger. So right here you see scale all. So I can increase that scale. And I can move that around if I want by changing um, basically the X and the Y axis right here under position. So if I move that, you can see it's automatically moving it. Y would make it go up and down. So I can come to my next vid next one and that looks good. So uh, once again, I'm just gonna leave that one with the black border. If I wanted to move it over so the black border was over here, we could easily do that. I can just come and slide that over um, I don't know what the reason would be, but maybe you wanted to put something there. We'll just leave it. So that one, once again, I can come in here and just do a quick scale. And that one has been fixed. This one, I created the space there so that I could add type or something as well. So you, if you wanted to add type, uh, normally you would just do it in Photoshop. But you could come over here and click the type tool and place it and move it over there. And then we have our last and final image. So the next thing we're going to do is add um, transitions. And so if you have don't have this window, it is Command-5 or probably Control-5, I'm guessing, on a PC. You want to click this little arrow right here, and that will show you your transitions. Now there's a million different transitions in Final Cut Pro. We're just going to go ahead and use cross dissolve. So I'm just going to drag the cross dissolve and put it in between the two clips. And there's no reason you actually need to do a, a transition if you don't want to. Um, the images will uh, work just fine. We'll just won't use any there just so you can see the difference. So what's great about Final Cut Pro, and you can see it up here, it's doing this. It actually renders in the background. So where it took a long time to render these, uh, this video in Final Cut Pro, it's going to go much quicker um, because it's rendering in the background um, while we're actually editing this video. So now you can see the difference between no transition. It just kind of flips over and flips over. 
So we're doing pretty good. So the last thing you could do if you did want to end, do like another title card, you can click on title and I'm not going to put any information in it. But you can just drag this down here. Now, these are longer than this. So if you want to shorten this, you just select your clip. You get that icon, you click hold and you just drag over. You can see right above it says 610 and minus 320. So we've gotten rid of three seconds um, and now the clip is five minutes and 29 seconds. I can let go and that should be ready to go. All right, so we've got this part of our slideshow done. So the next thing that we wanna do is add the audio. So the audio files are gonna go where the clips are, which is very easy. So we can select this or just click inside here, hit Command I again, and we need to go basically find where we put the audio file and I think I have that in downloads so I will go to my hard drive users so here's my downloads folder and here's that tango bango mp3 which I think we used before and I will just hit import selected so here's our audio file now if I move my timeline here, I can see it's about 48 seconds. I can come in here and just sort of select the first 48 seconds of this song or get close. I don't remember exactly what it is, but that's close. That's a little bit longer. And then I can drag this down. And then uh, once this is under this, if you want to zoom in and see this in uh, closer up, you're just going to hit Command Plus. You want to make sure, you, though, you are selected or have clicked in this space. Then you can hit that Command Plus. And you can see right here, we can then drag this over to the end of this video. So this is a cool little trick, just a little fade out here. So normally, if I just play this, um, let me turn my speakers on. The sound is going to be full strength. We'll get a little bit more. And then it abruptly ends. So what we're going to do is reduce just the end so it kind of fades out. So I'm holding down the Alt option and I'm taking my cursor and I click and I set a point. Then I'm going to come down here, hold down the Alt option, set and hold a point. I'm going to drag this point to the right and then I'm going to drag this point down. I'm going to add one more point here by holding Alt Option. Not being happy. It's bringing up that little thing and screwing it up. Let me try it out here. There we go. Then we can just drag it over. And then I'm just going to simply drag this down a little bit. So what this is going to do is kind of slowly fade that song out. So we'll come and just play the whole title. And then it slowly fades out at the end of the video. So it doesn't just abruptly quit and sound horrible. So the next part is going to be sharing this. So we're going to come up here to the share button. Um, we're going to click on master file default. So here is our slideshow. It's picked it up. If you want to change it, you can easily just select it. So same thing with description, or if you want to add any keywords, you can add those as well. So if you click on settings, um, we want video and audio. Um, the codec we're using is Apple ProRes 422, which we uh, selected before. And this is basically the information that we're using. And then we're going to hit next, and it's going to say where do you want to save that. I've already saved this once, but we'll just do it over again. So I'll hit save and then replace. You won't need to hit replace if you've never saved it. And then you can see, because it's already rendered in the background right here, it's saving this at like crazy fast speeds. Um, I'm guessing most of this was already rendered. This is probably mostly the audio. So we'll get a little check mark there when that this is done. And it will also over here show us that our video is ready. So if we want to just see it, we can click the little pop-up window. 
So here is Slideshow Final Cut Pro X. This is the one we did in iMovie. I will just go ahead and double click this and we can hit play. It's going to have the audio so I'm going to stop talking here so you can hear, hear, sort of hear that. All right, that's pretty good. We're not going to run through the whole slideshow, but that's how you create a slideshow in Final Cut Pro. Hopefully this has been helpful. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those below. Don't forget to subscribe and thanks for watching.